Hello and hello friends, you like to make videos with your GoPro or your mirrorless camera, but then you never make films? Well, in this video I'm gonna show you the basics on how to use DaVinci Resolve and make great editing. And on top of it, it's for free. By the way, if you want to come diving in Bali with us, or if you want to do a class with me, Bali is reopened. So I put a link in the description and you can come dive with us in Proof Diving. So first we're going to open DaVinci Resolve. Normally it's quite quick. And then we land on this page. So we can open projects that we already have or open new project. And this one we're going to call it Blue Lagoon. And then we can either enter or hit create. And now we want to import files. So we have different options. We can just go here, select the file we want and then import it here. Now, when we go on the edit page, we can see that all of the files are here. The problem is if we have many, many files, maybe we want to keep the structure we had before. So another option is just to drag and drop. And for this one, I can drop it in master. So I have my master here and in it, I have blue lagoon, which is actually the same files. So actually I can remove one of them. So I go on master, I click here, control A, I unclick this one, and then I can just do backspace. So now it's a little bit better organized. I resize it. So now we're on this page and you see that here, I have my effects here. So like everything, I can click and like this, it goes away. Same for here. First, I'm just gonna use my master, actually just blue lagoon, so I can click here and I can click this one to remove the left part. If I want more real estate on my timeline, I can click here and like this, it's gonna stop right here. I can also change the way we see the files. So we can have this one with just the list. We can have here the picture on the left and the name and everything on the right. Or you can have it like this, like it was before. One of the good things with the one that have pictures is that you can just move your cursor on it and pretty much see what's going on in it. Okay, so now our files are imported. We can decide the settings for this. So in this case, it's going to be 4K, 24 frames per second. I don't want to change it. And first, what we're going to import is the music. So we're going to import the music and we're going to put it on audio 2. Because I just want to do a music clip, I'm actually going to click on here, on this lock. Like this, I lock the track. So whatever I will do when I do a cut or something like this on the top, it's not going to affect my music. Here on the right, you can see that the inspector is clicked. So I can just take it out to have more space. Same thing for the mixer. I don't need it right now. So the good thing like this is that I have a big picture here to see what's going on. And here, my timeline is quite big as well. Later on, when I will do transformations and things like this on my files, I can reopen it easily. So I imported my music. Now here you can see that we can pick the size that we want. So here is the size that we pick when we want to see the whole timeline. So that means everything that is on the timeline is going to appear. Doesn't matter how big it is. If I put more music or more whatever, then it's going to shrink it or make it bigger to make sure that everything is on my timeline. And then here I can click on plus. So it's going to zoom in on it. I can zoom it back down and put it back the normal side. So this one, I can make it a little bit bigger because that's the one we're going to use. And now I can start importing my files. So when you do a clip, one of the important things is to try to tell a story. So the story starts actually for us with setting up equipment. So it's this file. So I can decide to grab it and bring it here. It works. And then to play, just hit space. So it's a reveal. We can see Valentin with the mask and then the divers setting up the equipment. Actually from here, it was not so interesting anymore. So what we can do is just go on the right side and then grab and make it shorter. But you see here, it didn't pick the sound at the same time. So you can go back 
and you can link the files by clicking here. You can also make sure that it's linked by clicking right and link clips. So this one, like I said, was too big, so we can now get it shorter again. So I can grab here and make it a little bit smaller. So we have a nice reveal and then it turns and we have the divers. We can even actually stop here. Next one, we're gonna do setup bateau. So we check the file. We can see here the boat and the divers. It's not really what we want. So let's say that this will be the end. So we're gonna put an O. This is the beginning, so we're gonna put an I. To import from this cursor, we can just click here and it's gonna bring it right after. But we have a problem here because here we started and we have the divers and then we have the boat and the divers again. So it doesn't really work. So what we want to do on this one is right click, change clip speed. And here we're gonna keep it the same speed, but we're gonna reverse speed change. And as you can see now, we have the divers and then we go on the boat, which is better. I go up to go here at the end of the previous clip. And now I should have a clip that is called Porter, Porter Wall, Porter Boat. So here is my Porter bringing the equipment in the water to the boat. Here, out and the in, I can do it here. Same thing, I can bring it like this, click here. But you see this time it's really, really big. So what we can do is right click on it, change clip speed again, and then we can go for example at 200% change. And you see now it's smaller. Maybe we can even change it again to about 300 because it was still very big. Okay, change. And now it's about the right size. So it looks a little bit like Benny Hill. But it's okay. If your computer is struggling to read everything, you can go on playback here, timeline proxy, and you can do, for example, half resolution. It's gonna make it much easier for it. Okay, so what do we have now? We're setting up the equipment. We look at the porter. We look at the porter getting in the water. And now what we want is a clip from the boat. So I should have one here, captain. So I double click here and I have my captain. Okay, smiling, in, and then we see the divers we're gonna dive with, and then Patricia is hiding, so let's stop here, out. I can grab it on here directly. Next, we're gonna do back roll entry. So, where's the right, wait, okay, the back roll entry is here. Okay, that's the end of it, out. And we can start from here, in. It's selected here, so I can just clip here. And you see, my cursor was at the wrong place, so it brought it before the other clip. So I'm gonna do Control Z down, and then I can import it again, but at the right place. Okay, now I should have another clip with a diver getting in the water, Poof. And this one, here. I'm just gonna start it here, in. and out, and I import. So like this, I have like an effect. I see my diver go down and then, okay. If I make a transition after that, should be cool. Okay, now we're ready to go diving. So let's put some diving clips. Plongeur, okay. So now we're in the water, we look up, okay. In, and then the okay for everyone, out. I import, and then I look at it and I'm like, Oh, but this is a little bit too much. I prefer to start here. What I can do is shift control and this one. I don't know the name in English, sorry guys. But you see like the, I don't know, bracket. And it cut it right away. And actually it moved the clip directly. Another option that we could have is to go a little bit further and we could use the blade here, cut and then delete. When you delete, it removes the clip that was here and it moves everything in place. Control Z to come back. This one I go on A, it's selection. I can select this and if I do only backspace, it's removing the clip but it's not moving the one after, okay? So we have different options 
to do all of this. I go down to bring my cursor in place. So now we're gonna find some shots underwater. This one is Patricia pointing the seahorse. Here we go. Okay, so she's showing the seahorse. So in, play. Okay, the seahorse is here. Ludo is ready to come out. I can grab and drop. Okay. It's a little bit too long. Okay, so here I can just use the blade. So blade is gonna be B. Now I'm on the blade. I cut, I go on A again, I click here, and I do backspace. Now I have a clip with Ludo filming the seahorse. Once again, we want to tell a story. So Ludo is filming the seahorse. This one, or this one, I don't know. Play. In. Out. So I can just import it, like this. And then we have the seahorse here, so now what we can do is show a little video of the seahorse. Okay, so from the side, oh, well, it's shaking a lot. In. Out. I import. Here, if I want, I can overwrite something, or here I can replace a clip. Okay? So there are different ways to import clips in here. But right now I'm showing you the easiest method. So what do we have now? So we have the OK sign. Then Patricia is showing the seahorse. It's here. OK. He's filming it. And then the seahorse itself. I go up to put my cursor here. Now we're gonna show something different so I can show a little bit of corals. Okay, out. The reason is I want to make a transition. I had a seahorse here, but I want to show this one to explain to my viewers that I moved, I went to a different place, and now, for example, I'm gonna see a clownfish on anemones. Okay. Let's start from here, in, out. You never want your clips to be too long, otherwise it's a little bit boring. And then I have another clip with my clownfish, but closer. So maybe I can start here, in, and out. Okay, now we can go back on the boat. So I have so I have here divers, okay, I can start here, in and out. Okay, later on I will be able to cut my music or change it a little bit, but now I already have quite a few sequences in a logical order and it will explain quite good the dive. I have some shots from the second dive so I can always add it here to the music. Here, if I want to do transformation, for example, here I had Ludo on the right and then Ludo on the left. What I can do is I can click here, go on the inspector, go on video, and then flip like this. And right away, is on the good side, you see, because it's more logic. He was on the right side, and next clip, he's also on the right side and filming. So it's easier to understand. If he had been looking the other way, it would have been a little bit different. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you want to see more content like this, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified with new videos. And up there, I put a video to help you color grade your footage. Bye bye, happy bubbles.